What's going on, fam? It's Ante Movet, Educate Lucky Murray, back with another Game Cut News update. Today I'm on my phone. We are talking about the game preview between Troy and South Carolina. Uh, before I go any further, man, I need you to do one of three things. One, like the video, of course. It's free. Most of you guys are not subscribed, so you need to like. Two, why you should like, subscribe to the channel. Helps out a ton. Hit the notification bell. Let you know every time I drop a video. And three, share the video. Helps out a ton. So let's go to the prediction, man. Uh, Troy is two and two. Uh, they're fifth in the nation of sacks. Uh, they come to uh, Columbia after a ten to sixteen uh, game where we gate where we turn where we cause four turnovers and they get no uh, points off of turnovers. Um, it's going to be a bounce back game that we need, right? Here's a few storylines. Uh, will Luke Doley bounce back? Um, last week was his first start of the season. He didn't start against Georgia. Zeb Nolan got hurt and he stepped into Georgia uh, after having a foot injury early in the, in the, in the season. So we have that storyline. Two, um, we, I'm hearing about Juju McDowell needs to get the ball early and often, either at um, running back or at a slot. I think that's a great thing to have. Uh, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Other than Josh Van and some of what uh, uh, the carry on Jordan is doing, uh, Jalen Brooks is what I think Jalen Brooks had a touchdown and a big catch in there. We hadn't had really anybody that uh, could step up in the receiving game. So, uh, Jaheim Bell, uh, number zero, the tight end. Uh, also, EJ Jenkins, man. EJ Jenkins only had one catch this year. It was last week against Kentucky. He had a big catch uh, for a first down. Uh, he was targeted the first game of the season, uh, but Zeb Nolan uh, threw him way over up in the stands. It seemed like he threw it way high, uh, too high, but had him within reach to, to get his first touchdown. Uh, so, uh, those two guys, man, we, we need him. Um, offensive line. Y'all already know what time it is. We got to play better as far as the offensive line. I think that you give Kevin Harris in the game, you, you get him in rhythm. I, I, don't, I don't like the fact that you switch him in and out like that, you know, with all the running backs. Uh, you know, Kevin Harris, you know, the back that had over 1,000 yards rushing last year, uh, he needs to continue to have those those touches. You know what I'm saying? He's the type of back that you got to feed uh, in order to, to see that grow. So, uh, and our defense, man, I, I suspect that our defense is really going to uh, give it to him again, man, cause some more turnovers. Uh, we're ranked really high in the SEC right now in turnovers uh, uh, per game as far as defense. I think we got over 10 sacks, man. We're, we're, we're eating. J.J. Mbarre is looking like a first-rounder. Uh, he's playing his way into a top-10 pick in the NFL, this coming NFL draft. With all that being said, we should beat the stuffings out of Troy. Um, I think that we're the most talented team. I think that... The game cops, we need a bounce back win. And it starts with Troy. And then we got Kentucky. Not Kentucky, excuse me. We got Tennessee and, 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 and Vanderbilt. And we can win these next three games. We're 5 and 2 into the season. Looking really well. And all we need is one game left. And I think that, man, this may be our year to beat Clemson, man. Clemson can't get over 300 yards. They can't get over 300 yards. So here's what I think, man. I think we can do it, man. But here's what I need y'all to do, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think that this is a, a bounce back game for us? Um, Shane Beamer has already said he trusts Mark Statterfield. So a lot of you fans are saying, hey, look, Statterfield is gone. He's trash. Woo, woo. Too tough cookie because Statterfield is here to stay. And also, Ray Tanner has the bill of approval to uh, Shane Beamer. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Uh, again, it's the entertainer. The motivator, the educator. Please don't give it all three. Lucky Mary back with another Gamecock News update. And yes, Troy, tomorrow, 3.30. Man, pump, probably listen to the radio. I got something to do tomorrow. But y'all know I'll report on the game. I will make sure I watch the game. Uh, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. What you think the score going to be? Write down in the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> it's the next time, people.